Israel is a society split by many divisions. Political. Religious. Economic. Ethnic. But there is one group which bridges all these differences. It is Yad Sara, a remarkable volunteer organization which brings hope and support to hundreds of thousands every year. Yad Sara was established in 1976 in Jerusalem. A young high school teacher, Uri Lupoliansky, purchased some basic medical items with the idea of lending them to whoever might need them. It started as a neighborhood project. Joined afterwards by the late Professor Kalman Mann, the former director of Hadassah Medical Organization, Yad Sara quickly grew. Today, there are 90 Yad Sara branches nationwide, lending medical equipment and offering a wide range of home care support services for free or for a nominal charge. Operating on a $12 million annual budget raised mostly by donations in Israel, Yad Sara saves the Israeli economy more than $250 million yearly by cutting back or eliminating hospitalization or institutional care. From all over the world, health and social welfare personnel come to learn at Yad Sara. Yad Sara is establishing home care services in the former Soviet Union, United States, South Africa, and Scandinavia. Yad Sara helps approximately 300,000 people a year. Many of them borrow medical rehabilitative equipment. It could be an item for the young mother, the new baby, a wheelchair, hundreds of items designed to make home care easier. Yad Sara is a leading expert in rehabilitative home care equipment. Yad Sara's exhibition and resource centers offer a wide range of items, professional guidance, and information, which enable the elderly, disabled, or frail to remain in their own homes. Looking after the quarter of a million home care and medical items stored in Yad Sara regional warehouses is a major effort. Volunteers, backed up by a small professional staff, take care of maintaining and repairing the many varied types of Yad Sara equipment. Bernie Lipsky is Yad Sara's oldest volunteer. He's over 90 and comes to work in Yad Sara's repair workshop three times a week. Volunteering, he says, keeps me alive. For most of the more than 6,000 volunteers, Yad Sara is a two-way relationship. The volunteer gives and also receives. Volunteers driving specially equipped Yad Sara vans provide transportation for the disabled, whether for a doctor's appointment, a shopping trip, or just for a ride. Vans also deliver meals on wheels to the homebound and are always available for emergency help. The air we breathe. Some people cannot take it for granted. The compact oxygen concentrating machine that Yad Sara builds and lends produces oxygen continuously from the air. Without it, many would need to be hospitalized. With it, they can live at home, free from worries, enjoy ordinary pleasures, even travel. Many thousands of elderly people who live alone feel safe and secure, and their families have peace of mind, thanks to Yad Sarah's emergency alarm service. A fall in the bath, a frightening sound, a lonely moment, all that it takes is a touch of the distress button on the wall or worn on the wrist. The touch makes an immediate two-way voice contact with the trained volunteer at the Yad Sara National Response Center, staffed 24 hours a day. The caller's medical and personal details appear on the screen at once, and medical or other help can be dispatched on the spot if needed. Sometimes, a friendly word is enough. The components for the alert system, like the oxygen machines and other items, are put together by older immigrant engineers and technicians from the former Soviet Union. Yad Sara initiated a retraining program designed for immigrants whose age prevented them from finding work in their field. The project paid off. Today, scores of older immigrants are successfully employed producing equipment used by Yad Sara. 
Yad Sarat changes lives. David is eight years old and confined to a wheelchair. Engineers at Yad Sarat helped him achieve as normal a life as possible. His motorized chair is custom built with special features. The chair tilts when he feels like taking a nap. It has a mobile phone attachment so that he's always in touch. An adjustable front section can be swung away to get close to a table or a computer. With devices like these, David is able to attend a regular school and face his handicap with the odds changed in his favor. The work of Yad Sara is constantly expanding. It is a dynamic organization where the volunteers themselves forge new concepts and innovations. The special computers in the Rehabilitation Day Center are another therapeutic technological aid. They enhance self-image and help to foster skills and independence. A choir for the speech impaired at Yad Sarah's Day Rehabilitation Center. A dental clinic for the elderly, where the over 65 can receive the best in dental care from experts in the field. A laundry service for the incontinent, with pickup and delivery, to make it possible to keep granddad at home. An enrichment center for children with special needs, designed to help youngsters and their families cope with learning disabilities. Wherever there is a need, Yad Sarah is there. Yad Sarah reaches out to bring hope and renewed purpose to the lives of people who are homebound through serious illness or disability. In towns around the country, specially trained volunteers have built up a network of homebound clients for whom painting, weaving, or using a computer has opened up fresh horizons and dispelled depression and apathy. The outreach program helps clients feel part of the society. A trip out to a neighborhood park with Yad Sarah volunteers can help rebuild confidence after a bad accident or illness. An emotional return to the Western Wall. A prayer, a tear. Yad Sarah made it possible. It all started in Jerusalem, and in Jerusalem, Yad Sarah's headquarters building is a new landmark. Built mainly by Yad Sarah's friends across the seas, on land granted by the government, Yad Sarah House is the nerve center for all national and international operations, and a one-stop station for all the home care support services in Jerusalem. Volunteers, and more volunteers, services and more services. Over the years, Yad Sarah has created a support system of welfare and rehabilitative services for home care. Instead of recuperating in the hospital or in old age homes, Yad Sarah enables the sick and elderly to continue living at home within the warmth of their families and supportive communities. In 1994, Yad Sarah received Israel's most prestigious award, the Israel Prize. It was presented in recognition of Yad Sarah's unique contribution in health and welfare, and its success in attracting Israelis from all backgrounds to its organization. Yad Sarah, the grassroots organization that reaches out from one person to another, providing help to whomever needs it, wherever and whenever it is needed. Yad Sarah from heart.